Hey there guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be learning about the key press event in JavaScript. So how this is going to work is if you take a look at our browser here, you can see it says make the blocks disappear. So how we're going to make them disappear is using our keyboard. So if we hit D, you can see that disappears. If we hit I, that also disappears. If we hit S, that disappears. A, P, P, E, A, R. And that makes all the blocks disappeared. But also keep in mind here that it says PS keep capitalization in mind. And I'll show you guys why later on in the video. Let's start off our little app here by creating an index.html file as well as an styles.css file and an app.js file. And then we'll just combine all these three together. press event and then of course we'll just link our style sheet styles.css and then also link our app file let's open this up with live server so we can see it in the browser there's our blank screen right there before we get stuck in on the code let's just take a look at the definition or the description of what the um, key press is so the on key press event occurs when the user presses a key on the keyboard. So every time you press any key on the keyboard, it's gonna fire off this event. Let's head back to our studio. What we'll do is just create our P tag. So make the blocks disappear. Save that, so that appears on our screen there. And then the way we're gonna create these blocks is just using an unordered list. So we'll say UL. And then just give it a bunch of list items. And the first letter is D. Duplicate this some more. And then I. Just make sure that you're keeping the capitalization in mind here. So S. So capital S. Capital A. Capital P. And then a lowercase p and then lowercase e lowercase a and then capital case r and then we need to give these ids which is just going to be equivalent of what the actual text is so capital d again keep this in mind for the capitalization which i'll show you guys why in a moment um, lowercase i capital S, capital A, capital P, lowercase p, sorry, lowercase e, and then capital R. So we have our text there. Let's just show it up on the browser here. So I just save that. Let's just give it some basic styling. So we'll go into the style sheet. First, we'll grab the body and we'll say, font size, let's just make it 1.3 rem, text align everything to the center, and then we'll just give this all a margin, and then we'll just make the margin zero, and then li, say display inline block, Give us a width, so these are all the list items, so the words. Give them a width of 50 pixels, a height of 50 pixels. Background, set that to black. And the color of the text to be white. Let's give it some padding. So that's all we're gonna need for the style. Let's head to the app.js now and create the JavaScript code. So the first thing, target the body. Oh, and actually just forgot a paragraph at the bottom here. Before we do that, keep in mind save that again so the first thing we need to do for the app.js is just grab the body so say const body equals document dot query selector and we'll select the body and then what we're going to do from here is to create a function which is going to use a switch statement determine which 
key has been pressed and then use that to make the blocks disappear depending on what letter you pick. So we'll say const remove word block and this is going to be an arrow function and we're going to pass the event object in here which I'll show you guys why in a second because we're going to be working with it. Let's actually just log this to the console and let's log in the event dot key code and let's just log in the event and then let's apply an event listener to the body and of course we're going to be using the key press event and then let's just log in our function there so remove block word and let's open this up in the console so if we take a look at the console if I click on any key on the keyboard, you can see it fires off that event. So I've just clicked on K, clicked on J there, G. And then if I actually open this up, you can see it's got all these properties of that event. And the one that we're interested in is the key code. And that's what we're going to be using in the switch statement to determine which key code has been pressed. So then give us the ability to hide that block depending on the letter. So if we go underneath this console.log, say switch. And then we log the event dot key code. And let's just actually log the event here again on the uh, console.log, save this, and then just show you guys what I mean. So if I click on G now, you can see it's got a key code of 103. If I click on Y, it's got a key code of 121. And then all of the keys will have their own key code. So again, that's what we're going to be using to determine which key has been pressed to then hide that. So with a switch statement, of course, you've got the case. And then let's find out actually what D is. So if we press D, or capital D in this case is 68. And the reason we actually need to keep capitalization in mind, if we just log in the event and then I hit a lowercase D, you can see if we open this up, it's got a key code of 100. But if I capitalize the D and then press that, you can see it's got a different key code of 68. So that's why we need to keep a capitalization in mind because they've got different key codes we need to press to hide that letter or that letter block. So again, that's why we need to keep capitalization in mind. So for um, the key code for D or the capitalized D is case is 68. Then we're going to say if it is 68, we're going to grab the document element by its ID is a capital D. And then we're going to grab the style and then we're going to set the display to none. And if I save that now and then I press the lowercase d, you see it's shooting off the event, but it's not making the letter block disappear because it's a lowercase d. If I now press the capitalized d, see it hides that now because we're specifically targeting the key code of the capitalized D and then we're setting the display value to none so then it hides that letter block. So that's effectively for how the key press is working in this scenario. So now let's just do it for all the rest of the letters. So for lowercase i, it's 105. And then let's just paste that in here. And just fix up the styling a bit. And then we can just actually just keep duplicating this for S or capital S. The code is 83. For capital A. The code is 65 for capital P. The code is 80. Lowercase p, the code is 1. One one two for the last few letters. Duplicate this, and then for the lowercase 
the this has a code of 101 lowercase a this has a code of 97 and then lowercase r this has a code of 82 so now this should complete our block and we should be able to now make all of these word blocks disappear depending on the key we press and I've just realized that we actually need to set a break underneath all of these otherwise it's just gonna mess up the whole thing so under each case you need to put a break and now this should be working correctly so if I hit the capital D, the D block disappears, lowercase i, capital S, capital A, capital P will disappear, lowercase p, e, hit e, check it's check we've got the key code correct, so it says 101 here, lowercase e we've got 97, so that's the wrong one, that's going to refresh the whole thing, so again let's start it, so capital D, I capital S A P lowercase P lowercase E that's working now lowercase A uh, we haven't actually included A uh, what is A A is 97 So lowercase a save that so we can start this again so capital D I capital A S sorry a P lowercase P lowercase E lowercase a and finally R. as you can see we've now made all the letters disappear so that's how we can implement the key press event in JavaScript I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one